Hey, what's going on summoners? My name is Crumbs and today we're gonna to be taking a look at five of the best bot lane duos. With the meta shifting towards skirmish champions, there are a ton of new duos to play as. So we'll be going over their play styles and synergy alongside breaking down their itemization so that you can be prepared for your next solo queue match. Nonetheless, let's get started and dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we've got Draven and Janna. While this duo may seem counterintuitive, it's actually quite strong at the moment. Draven is one of the best AD carries in the game, and Janna offers a great combination of peel and support for her carry. She allows Draven to play aggressive early on, while also giving him an easy bailout thanks to her Q and ultimate. Together, they can choose to dominate the landing phase, or they can sit back and scale. With Draven's current itemization, he doesn't fall off like he used to, and it's rare now that he gets out damaged or outranged later on. Plus, both Draven and Janna are wonderful skirmishers that thrive at dragon fights thanks to their high damage and zone control. Overall, if you need a versatile duo that can adapt to the enemy, then look no further than Draven and Janna. Let's quickly break down a good build for both champions before moving on. For Draven, you'll be taking Flash and Exhaust as your summoner spells. If you're facing a lot of hard CC, then feel free to take Cleanse instead. Your runes will be Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Last Stand, Eyeball Collection, and Treasure Hunter. This will give you great snowball potential as well as scaling. As for your items, you'll rush an Essence Reaver, then pick up Berserker's Greaves, Eclipse, Collector, Infinity Edge, and finish off with either LDR for Armor Pen or Guardian Angel for Protection. For Janna, you'll often be taking Flash and Ignite. If you need the extra peeling, feel free to take Exhaust. For your runes, be sure to take Glacial, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Font of Life, and Revitalize. This will give you powerful peel and sustain throughout the game. Make sure to use your instant Q to easily proc Glacial. Taking a look at your items, you'll be grabbing Moonstone, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefire, Redemption, and finish off with a Watchful Wardstone. You know it's a great way to climb? Playing the strongest champions each patch. However, if you don't solidify your fundamentals, you'll quickly realize you haven't improving as much as you should have. But not to worry, Summoner. Here at Pro Guides, we've got your back. We have in-depth guides along challenger level coaches that are available 24 seven to help you out. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and dive into our next duo. Up next, it's the fastest gun in the West, Jin and Zillion. Thanks to the importance of Wave Prior at the moment, these two are becoming extremely popular. Jin deals a great chunk of damage early on and can dominate the laning phase. While Zillion may be weaker early, he eventually scales up to be an absolute menace with Jin's kit. Zillion easily sets Jin up by slowing the enemy and stunning them with his bombs. From here, Jin can root them in place to hunt them down and if needed, he can snipe them with his ult. Playing against this duo means you need to constantly be aware of where Zillion is or else he will catch you and stall long enough for Jin to kill you. Overall, if you want a duo that scales insanely well while also having amazing synergy and a very fast Jin, then don't skip out on these two. Alright, let's quickly break down a good build for both of these champions. For Jin, you'll be taking Flash and your choice of Heal or Exhaust. Both are solid on Jin, since he can really use the added movement speed from Heal or the damage reduction from Exhaust. For your runes, you'll be taking Fleet Footwork, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Celerity, and Gathering Storm. These runes will let you take great trades in the laning phase while also giving you a massive power spike as the game goes on. As for your items, you'll be grabbing Gale Force, Swifties, Collector, Rapid Fire Cannon, Infinity Edge, and then your choice of Lord Dominic's 4 Armor Pen, or of course, your Guardian Angel for survivability. Taking a look at our Grandfather Clock Zillion, you'll be taking Flash and either Exhaust or Ignite as your summoner spells. Your runes will consist of Summon Airy, Mana Flow Band, Celerity, Water Walking, Cheap Shot, and Relentless Hunter. This will give you great scaling while also providing good early game damage. For your items, be sure to pick up Shirelias, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefire, Zhonya's, and a Watchful Wardstone. You can stall Chemtech Putrefire if your team does not need the anti-heal. But let's face it, in Season 12, you'll almost always need it. Next on our list, we've got Sivir and Renata. This powerful duo has been showing up more and more in the bot lane simply because both champions are so strong. 
Since her release, Renata has maintained above a 50% win rate. Her kit allows her to provide some of the best disengage in the game, a miniature zillion ult, decent poke, and a way better version of Nami's ulti for team fights. It's honestly crazy that Riot hasn't given her a major nerf yet. As for Sivir, her rework quickly made her a pick or ban in many pro regions around the world. With her safe laning face and reliable scaling, she is feared and for good reason. Her 3 item spike is unmatched when it comes to team fighting due to her insane mobility and DPS. Overall, these two complement each other rather well but are just as powerful on their own. Don't let these two fly under your radar if they're up. Let's quickly break down a good build for both of these champions. For Sivir, you'll be taking Flash with your choice of Heal or Exhaust. Both are great options for Sivir and it really depends on if you need extra protection from Exhaust or not. Your runes will consist of Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Cut Down, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. These will help you scale into the late game and give you a smooth laning phase. For your items, you'll be building Kraken Slayer, Berserkers, Greaves, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, LDR, and finish off with your choice of Guardian Angel for protection or a Bloodthirster for sustain. Sivir's build is fairly versatile and she really only needs her core of three with Kraken, PD, and IE, so feel free to experiment. She's just that good. Moving on to Renata, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite. If you think your AD carry needs the extra peel from Assassins or Bruisers, then take Exhaust instead. For your runes, you'll be running Guardian, Font of Life, Bone Plating, Revitalize, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will let you protect Sivir early on so you can both scale. As for your items, be sure to pick up Shirelius, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefire, Redemption, and Watchful Wardstone. If your team does not need the anti-heal, you can swap Putrefire for an Ardent Sensor. Let's take a quick break from all these champions and move on to our favorite Pro Guides tradition. Today we want to ask you all, what is one pair that you and your duo used to run? Personally, Ash Zyra has a soft spot in my heart. Cloud9 brought it out a long time ago, and it's still a very powerful duo. A lot of damage, crowd control, and utility with a dominant laning phase. But that's my answer, and we want to know from you, so let us know your answer down in the comments below. Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and dive into our next few duos. Gems and music, gems and music, this is the most fabulous bot lane in the game. You better use it, it's none other than Seraphine and Taric. These two take control of the stage by providing their team with a ton of utility, sustain, and power. Seraphine's kit has always been known to be overloaded with useful tools. She has the safest laning in the game, has both AoE crowd control and damage, has an ultimate that can span multiple screens, and a pretty good soundtrack. We've already talked nonstop about how powerful she is on her own, but what if we threw Tarek in the mix as well? He's been steadily climbing the ranks and holds the highest win rate of any support in the game at the moment. With skirmishes being favored, Tarek easily procs his passive and gets to pump out tons of damage, healing, and crowd control. As a duo, these two can easily take over games by supporting their allies with utility and dealing great DPS. Overall, if you're looking for an aggressive bot lane that'll catch the enemy off guard, then be sure to check out Seraphine and Tarek. Let's quickly dive into a good build for both these champions. Starting with Seraphine, be sure to take Flash and Exhaust as your summoner spells. While you can take Heal, we don't advise it since your W provides that for you. For your runes, you'll be taking Summon Airy, Manaflow Ban, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, Bone Plating, and Revitalize. These runes will give you a lot of early game presence as you poke out the enemy with ease. As for your actual items, be sure to pick up Leandris, Sork Shoes, Rylice, Chemtech Putrefire, Zhonya's, and Rabadon's Deathcap. You can swap out either Chemtech Putrefire or Zhonya's for Archangel's Staff, depending on which one you do not need. Diving into Taric, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. You don't really need the damage reduction or slow from exhaust, so don't bother with it. For your runes, you'll be running Glacial, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Conditioning, and Revitalize. These will give you some nice dueling power as well as chase potential. For your items, you'll be building Lockets, Plated Steel Caps, Winter's Approach, Frozen Heart, and Watchful Wardstone. Make sure you build your tier as soon as possible so you can have it fully stacked for your Winter's Approach. You really will need the mana, so get to it! Last, but certainly not least, 
we've got Samira and Leona. This aggressive bot lane duo plays to dominate the laning phase and transition their lead into powerful team fights. Thanks to a heavy skirmish meta, Samira and Leona can both benefit from the increased action. Samira offers a ton of needed mobility and AoE damage thanks to her ultimate and E resets. On the other hand, Leona's crowd control is some of the best in the game and it's on an extremely low cooldown. Plus, with her passive buffs, she deals a ton of bonus damage now. So if you ever run into these two during a skirmish at Dragon, you will need to be careful. It only takes one successful engage to turn the tides of the game in their favor. Overall, if you're looking for a duo that plays to get a lead and snowball out of control, then these two may be the ones for you. Let's quickly dive into their builds. Starting with Samira, you're going to be taking Flash and either Cleanse or Exhaust as your summoner spells. Exhaust offers great dueling potential and shuts down any burst damage the enemy may deal. That being said, this is why we recommend Cleanse since the enemy can take Exhaust and make Samira borderline useless. More often than not, Enchanters take Exhaust when facing Samira and that's when you can usually take Cleanse. For your runes, you'll be running Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Last Stand, Eyeball Collection, and Treasure Hunter. These runes are made to help you gain a lead and snowball with your increased power. As for your actual items, you'll be building Shield Bow, Plated Steel Caps, Collector, Infinity Edge, LDR, and finish off with either Death Stance for healing potential or a Guardian Angel for protection. Moving on to Leona's itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. Since you're looking to fight, Exhaust is wasted on Leona here. For your runes, you'll be taking Aftershock, Font of Life, Bone Plating, Unflinching, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will give you a bit of bonus sustain and much needed tankiness. As for your items, be sure to pick up Locket and either Plated Steel Caps for armor or Merc Treads to deal with crowd control. Then you'll be grabbing Zeke's Convergence, either Knight's Vow or Thorn Mill, depending on if you need anti-heal, and to finish off with a Watchful Wardstone. Leona is naturally really tanky, so don't be afraid of skipping out on Thorn Mill if it's not needed. Now before we continue on to the end of the video, if you want to join an amazing community of people like you that love lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, then check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join us! Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and take a look at our honorable mention. You've seen them before, you may have won with them, you may have hated playing against them, but they're still here to stay and boy are they powerful, it's none other than Tom Kench and Senna. Fasting Senna continues to be a powerful pick in the bottom lane and until Riot finally nerfs the pair, they will consistently hold a high win rate every single patch. These two are strong together because Tom Kench offers the peel and tankiness that Senna desperately needs to survive the lane. With TK farming, Senna can work on attacking the enemy to easily stack souls and gain gold from her spectral sickle. These two can 2v2 nearly any bottom lane in the game thanks to both champions offering slows, knockups and roots and their high base damage. Plus, they don't get outscaled. Eventually, TK becomes an unkillable hyper tank and Senna becomes a long range DPS threat as she autos your backline from her backline. Overall, these two have been a force to be reckoned with for years now and we will have to wait and see what Riot will do about them eventually. Quickly looking at the itemization for these two champions, Tom Kench will be your farming champ and so he'll be taking Flash and Ignite as his summoner spells. For runes, you'll be taking Guardian, Shield Bash, Second Wind, Unflinching, Triumph, and Alacrity. If you're facing another melee support or someone like Yasuo AD Carry, you can take Grasp instead for some easy procs. Remember, your Tongue Lick also procs your Grasp. These runes will let you keep Senna alive while also letting you deal a ton of damage to the enemy carry. As for your items, you'll be picking up Frostfire Gauntlet, your choice of plated steel caps or merc treads, thorn mill, force of nature, randuins, and titanic hydra. Onto Senna's build, be sure to take Flash and Heal as your summoner spells. You can take Exhaust if needed, but most times you'll have so much range late game that Exhaust is a waste. Same thing goes for Ignite. As for your runes, you'll be taking Fleet Footwork, Presence of Mind, Legend Alacrity, Cut Down, Biscuit Delivery, and Approach Velocity. Keep in mind, your main goal is to farm souls, so these runes will let you harass the enemy without taking too much damage. Finally, for your items, you'll be rushing Umbral Glaive, then building Swifties, Eclipse, Rapid Fire Cannon, and Rage Blade. 
And that sums up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to join our ProGuides family over at ProGuides.com where we offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you just won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, good luck on the Rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.